Well, nothing like having a land yacht in the trailer. She squeezed, but I had to get out some straps out of that mess, so I gotta clean that up. Strap this front down. The back's already done, as you can see. Uh, let me walk over to the other side real quick and I'll show you how we had to position it so I could actually get out of the door over there. So we had to pull it far enough forward so it would fit in the door. We got inches of spare back there. But, so I had to squeeze out. I always lay a moving blanket out just, uh, just for a precaution, but there she is, ready for Indiana. Oh, well, another day, another dollar. That's what they say, right? They're in Wheeling, West Virginia. At the ram over here, the single car enclosed. About four hours into our day already. We left about five. Let's check our load, top off the tank, and get on the road. All right, here's a good one for you. Supposed to be picking up a 2021 Ford Mustang. <laughs> this does not look like a 2021 Ford Mustang. This is a 2011 Fiesta. This is the correct vehicle. Ugh. And it's gone in the enclosed. So they must have posted this and uh, dispatched the wrong car, but yet we had already agreed on a rate. It's supposed to be. That Mustang is supposed to be enclosed. Well, I can't back out of it now. Holy crap, this thing's a POS. I'm gonna try to get some of these leaves off of it before it gets in my... Ooh. Oh, gosh. Well, it's a nice light load that we don't really have to worry about on the way home. I'll fit in the trailer nice and easy. Well... Switch from one truck to the other. Look how dirty that thing is. Said I was gonna break it in nice and easy, but uh, we're gonna go hook up the flatbed and go get a single axle dump truck. Weigh about 10, 12,000 pounds. And really test it out then. Let her warm up here and uh, get her hooked up. You can probably.
But is it wrong for me to fight against the balance of my power? History in half one brain. I will break the chain. Nothing like a little TV on the gas pump to really freak you out at four o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Here's our dump truck. Getting about eight and a half miles to the gallon with this thing. I'd say it's probably between between ten and ten and twelve thousand pounds with the salt spreader in the back, but pretty sure it's got a seven three. And it, it didn't have enough power to hardly get up on the trailer, so <clears throat> we're in the single cab. We're getting about eight and a half miles to the gallon, and uh, we're getting four dollars a mile on 400 miles with this thing. So uh, this guy called me and texted me, button and, and asked if it was my full name. So must have been referred to me. Uh, I didn't really ask him, figure out how he got my information, but. Uh, the area it's gone to, I think it was a referral from one of my uh, one of my good customers. So I told him four dollars a mile, and he was happy with it. So four chains, four binders, and uh, yeah, let's get on the road. Well, delivery, it's 28 degrees, delivering off the side of this highway, and this old girl doesn't want to start being an old diesel so he just ran in here to get a can of starting fluid it's cranking good and it's smoking it just doesn't want to fire so we'll get a can of starting fluid here and get this thing unloaded oh <clears throat> okay um fuel stop and uh deep breaths just uh always problem solving out here that's what you got to do there's a lot of people who can't do that in this industry and uh you know, people with piss poor attitudes aren't gonna aren't gonna make it but and no i'm not talking about anybody on youtube um i don't have a problem with anybody on youtube but i'm sure people like to start rumors anyways um so i do have a lead on someone coming to work for me as an owner operator thank thank you sweet baby jesus i needed that that's good news for today um we're gonna hopefully get him some work here this He's already got his authority, uh, but he's looking to make some changes and maybe lease on to somebody that has more direct freight, which I do. And uh, like I have work sitting there waiting for him. So we're going to figure all that out. And uh, he's local to me, which, again, is awesome. And uh, hopefully all that works out. So that's good news. And uh, we just keep getting busier. Today's Friday. And uh, next week is pretty much all booked up. I'm just trying to find a couple extra hours within the days to get some added stuff done stuff that was kind of thrown on my plate so that's kind of like uh work i can squeeze in between the hours of you know 2 a.m and 6 a.m you know the stuff you can get up early and knock out and uh 
Where's that dog's owner? So this dog walking around the truck stop here and not on a leash. Anyways. I'm gonna walk over there before that dog gets hit in this busy loves parking lot. Hold on. <clears throat> well, we go from one extreme to the other. There's our load. This goes to Buffalo, New York. But we're gonna put something behind it. We just haven't found, or we haven't even looked yet. We'll put a small SUV, something back here. Got plenty of room. This is only uh, two, four, six, ten foot. Something like that. You know, the way I counted that is uh, DOT tape on this is every two foot. So that's how I usually count going down the side. But uh, we're hopping in this. It's cold out. Let's get a cold start, man. Alright. Got uh let me get a couple tires put on this weekend. These are the 17.5s. I got two more. Um that's the 17.5 over there. That goes on that. And then we have an extra spare. And then these are for the for the enclosed. One of those needs either patched or replaced. And I think I have a slow leak coming from one more tire. Which, I'm just trying to run these tires out because they're getting replaced. It goes D. Pierce, big company around me. Uh, we're going to hit the truck wash, hopefully. Uh, this trailer is dirty, but it doesn't look... It's not as dirty as it looks on camera here. It looks like it's got huge black streaks on it, but it's not that bad. Anyways, that'll do it. Maybe. Might add some more. Might show you the truck cleaned up, but that'll do it for this week. So I don't know where I'll put this in the video, with this would be a start or the end of a video. But here, remember when I got pulled over for that, um, they impounded my trailer and all that junk? Well, this is what they want me to pay. I don't know what the safety violation was. I'll have to check that. I don't know what they're considering a safety violation, but then they try to get me for having no log book, even though I wasn't on duty. And uh, so they want $750. So I'm going to consult the lawyer, see if uh, just going ahead and paying the $750 is probably going to be cheaper than running back up to New York with a lawyer and, and trying to fight this since I'm from Pennsylvania. So we'll see what happens.